Yes, and it is time now for top plays. And per our physicians and lawyers' requests, we can only go about 10 at a time. Starting with number 25. Oh, we just talked to him. Sam Brown, what can he do for you? Well, Connor Melton, this is one of his passes to Sam Brown. When he passes Sam Brown, good things happen. He's going to take it 63 yards for the score versus Pryor Lake. That's how you get top play started. And number 24, time to get wet. Abigail Egoff Jensen taking a dive. It's bad in boxing, but that looked really good. Number 23, Cade McMahon. Once he finally got on the football field, he does stuff like this. 57 yard touchdown run versus Forest Lake. Lifting the Panthers to a victory. At 22, the player we're all in Lovick with. Olivia, coming up the sidelines. And she'll get it past everyone. The goal for Centennial sophomore. Number 21, Connor Melton, this time to Peyton Downey. He's going to take it <laughs> 80 yards for the score. Peyton Downey and Connor Melton, they're besties. Does that go somewhere else later? Yeah, Ken's going to be mad. We just keep going. How about number 20? Charles Manson died today. Isabella Earn, also a serial killer. She got it done. No? I shouldn't, no? All right. Always in good taste, John had a number 19, Blaine Girl Soccer. You're not going to feel bad for Manson, are you? Uh, I believe this is Shaq before, not one save, but two saves. Saving it from the turf. Can't get a buyer. It's not that time. That's defense right there. Let's just run through them all. Why not? Number 18, so are you telling me this isn't Sam Brown? Oh, that's Sam Brown. They're all Sam Brown highlights. Apparently. Every play is Sam Brown. Why not? What can Brown do for you? Another touchdown for number two. Number 17. The Raps looking to get the ball down the field, but Trey Driscoll jumps her out and he takes it in 15 yards for the pick six. He scores it on the ask. You can't throw towards Trey Driscoll. I can't believe you tried to do that. Touchdown Driscoll, touchdown Cougars. And here is the circus catch from Sam Brown. When you're missing play number 15, know that this is it. Sam Brown with the circus catch, just to make it more fun for the audience at home. Connor Melton, this time to Peyton Downey. Nope, that's Sam Brown. He's going to take it <laughs> 80 yards for the score. Now I know what play I'm missing. The next 10 plays, starting with number 14, because we already saw 15. It was to the U of M Aquatic Center, where Maddie Stadden, eh, sorry, Isabel Stadden, wins her second event. That one was the 100 backstroke. So she wins with All-American status time. Congratulations to Isabel Stadden. From Stadden to Haddon, I'll take this next one <laughs> after she well played, John. gets well her, played. Uh, her medals. What's your favorite word that rhymes with Stadden? Stadden? Madden. All right, number 13. He was just sitting up here with me, Trey Driscoll. I thought this might have been his favorite moment. In the snow, catches the ball, and goes 84 yards on the return. He also had 10 tackles in this game, a 30 to 12 win versus Stillwater to open the playoffs. Well, that's pretty good, an 84 yard kick return. Well, it's hard to top that. But how about for play 12, how about 99 yards in the snow? What, more Sam Brown? A little more Sam Brown.
You're going to Sam Brown more than Connor Melton did this year. <laughs> Someone has to get this man the ball. Here goes Sam Brown, takes it to the outside, gets some blocks, and he goes the distance, 99 yards for the score. That was the opening play of the game. And the rest was history because the Bengals win by a lot of points. Defensive side of the ball for number 11. A lot of football here today. Emmanuel Mensa forcing the fumble, recovering that fumble. He's in the end zone. It's a touchdown for Blaine. Nice job, just pops it out of there and gets up, finds it, falls on it. Nice play there in a 34-21 win over Creighton Durham Hall for the Bengals. It's a smart play there for Mensa. Number 10, Spring Lake Park Boys Soccer, the magician, Hussein Al-Tamimi. Look at this. Oh, takes it right by the defender with a little flick of the foot, gets the ball past him, opens himself up for a shot. Whoop, now you see it, now you don't. Now it's in the back of the net. Al-Tamimi, more foot magic from every angle possible. 18 goals a season. You don't say. I did. Oh. Do we have a nine? <laughs> a little sideline action for Byron Bynum Jr. Emphasis on the junior. Speed down the sideline. Are we going to go all the way to one right now? What do you think? <laughs> do we just go, I mean, he'll take uh, it past the one into the end zone. I did. Oh. Do we have a nine? Or we, we're not going to do that earlier. All right. Oh, Skyler <laughs> Federovicius. Free kick goal for Spring Lake Park. A little distance there. Nicely yeah. done finding the upper 90. Skyler, that's a booming leg. Scoring from distance. Number seven. He's not a noob. He's Ryan Koob. Centennial scores, but they're still down one in OTO. It's Ryan Koob in for the two point conversion. The Cougars win. The Cougars win. Some of the people in the studio are happy, some of them are not. And for number six, when Koob doesn't feel like playing, you go to the sophomore, Connor Zulk. Comes in after an injury to the starter, throws a 36-yard touchdown pass to win at Champlain Park, 28-21. Who's win? It's... It's another word for victory. Oh, oh, oh. oh I thought it was. You wouldn't know about it. it. Sorry. It's time for the top of the top, the cream of the crop, the best <laughs> plays, top five. And <laughs> number five, Gottschalk. Mikey Gottschalk, go up and get it. 30 yard touchdown catch as Connor Melton gets hit. He throws it up to Gottschalk. That's play number five. I'm glad you had that one. We saw him all season. I still can't say his last name. On to the pitch. Centennial Girls Soccer. Check it out. Corner kick, direct score. Beautiful. Nobody's going to touch it. Nobody can touch it. That's ridiculous. That deserves hugs. And hugs is what you got. Number three, speaking of hugs, Byron Bynum Jr. Where are we Bynum going with this? Vitamin B2. No one can take this man down. Creighton Durham Hall. There aren't enough Raiders on the field to bring him down. 32-yard score. Dipping and ducking and dodging and slicing and spinning. Everything a Ginsu knife can do and more. Just even flag football, they wouldn't have brought him down. Couldn't rip the belt. He's in for the score. There is your dose of vitamin B2. From number two, we have Pee Wee Football. It's time for Jalen Cummings' big adventure. He's going to scramble to his left. Then he's going to get towards the middle. Then he's going to pop it to the outside. He's going to ditch tacklers, cut back inside. Jalen Cummings. 48 oh, no. yards and a touchdown. And the Centennial Land Sharks win. And our top play of the fall. Isabel Sadden. She wins again. This is the 200 IM. She didn't just win. She broke a state record with All-American 
status on the time Coach Lukey likes. Congratulations to Stadden winning first place in two events. And obviously the record's nice too. That is our top play of the fall.